what's up fellow engineers Dr McKay here and welcome back to my channel today we are testing the mercury redstone auto flight system and tower launch and once we have done this this is going to go up on mod.io if it's successful but just a little sneak peek this is a prototype version of my very own puddle jumper from stargate atlantis i hope you like this design because it took me a while to come up with it I like it and if you want me to I'll put it up on the workshop as well once it's finished but let's get back to the real-life rockets that we are designing in this in this uh, channel or in this uh, series of episodes so this is the Mercury Redstone the first rocket to send an astronaut to space in America obviously it wasn't the first rocket to send an astronaut to space in in the world it was out of Russia but this is the first American rocket to send astronauts to space and like with all my videos, we are going to be test flying this rocket with autopilot. So basically, press one button and time blocks take care of the rest until you go to space. But it's slightly different with this rocket; it does not go to space. And it, what you mean? Well, what you think? What do I mean by that? Well, this Mercury Redstone never actually went into orbit around the planet. It wasn't powerful enough. So it essentially, what it did, it literally launched a national up into space to space. So it still went into kind of space. But then it, it the capsule would automatically come back down, or I want to say automatically, it would, it would come back down because it never went high enough. So this is basically the test flight. We're going to go up, it's going to detach, and we're going to fall back down. It's not going to go into space because it's what the rocket did in real life, and this is what I'm building. So obviously, as you can see, I've been working on my Falcon 9 over here, and I have mail rockets. So, but today we're focusing on the the mercury redstone so if you like my content please hit that like button and don't forget to comment and subscribe it does mean a lot so let's get on and showcase this uh, little little rocket off uh, as you can see it is quite low compared to the falcon 9 <laughs> so this is a single stage single engine rocket with a single capsule one seat <coughs> one seat for an astronaut in the capsule and the capsule is very tiny even in real life it re really only fit the astronaut so essentially our flight plan is to go up, get to about 200,000 meters, detach, and then fall back down. And it's all done through timer blocks. Uh, we also have a fuel connector up here. Now I've quite done an ingenious design here using my previous knowledge from my last video, my last guide video of hinges. I've connected up, because we can't stick a connection port or connector port on this rocket, it's too small. So I went for a hinge that detaches and then this whole section here where you see the arm or the uh, fuel pipe will, will rotate out of the way and then the rocket will lift. But that's not the only good thing about this uh, little build. I also have a retractable kind of small tower which is on a, a white room that kind of in real life it hugged the rocket so the astronaut could get in, do all its checks and then it moved out the way of the rocket entirely. So basically, I'll press the button to show you what it does and move out of the way. <clears throat> so essentially, it accompanies the capsule as you can see. Like so. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And then it allows access for astronauts. And then once you're in the rocket, it does come away. So what we're going to do, we're just going to move out of the way and board the rocket how we would properly. So. The first things you want to do with this build, if you want to use it, is obviously uh, subscribe to the blueprint, and then blueprint it in this way orientated. Now, if you're not, if it comes up with a big square grid, not the actual picture, it might take you a couple of attempts. But essentially, that is it. There's nothing major you have to do, as far as I'm aware. I'll have, to, I'll, I'll retest it before I upload it. But like, uh, essentially, you just spawn it in as it is, like it is now. This is what you should get. You basically run up or run down here. You come up this uh, ladder. Now elevators are hard to build, so we're jetpacking it. You no know, cheating. You come up to this level, come across onto the uh, white room. As you come in, you press this button, and it'll bring you to the capsule.
Now, obviously, I feel a little bit wobbly, but it's fine. Um, obviously, now you're here, make sure you go to the toilet because you can't. There's no, there's no place to go toilet inside this little capsule. So, just in case, you board the capsule through this little grill. Remember, it's not airtight, so make sure you've stocked up on O2. And now we're inside. We'll change camera position if I can. It's not letting me. And oh, there we go. Obviously, this is our rocket now on the pad. And now what we're going to do, we're going to press down on the D-pad to remove that tower. Now this is the first time I've actually test launched this vehicle with all the connections up. So we're hoping it's going to launch. So on the count of T-3 seconds, we're going to press up. It should take us to space. And then do all the bits it needs to do. So 3, 2, 1, ignition. Detached. Engines, come on. There we go. And lift off. And that detached quite well. I like that. Obviously, it's, like I said, it's a single engine at the bottom. So give it a minute for it to go. And off we go. Look at that. Not bad. Hmm. <laughs> I think I've got about three minutes on the timer block before stage separation. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to fast forward to that point. So I'll see you in a minute. And also, the escape tower does detach. And when it does, you may have to move out of the way. But you'll see. All right. See you, see you in a minute. So we're approaching now 10,000 meters. I'm pretty sure something's about to happen soon. I don't really want to go into the control menu to decide to have a look at the timer blocks. I believe I've done right. I don't want to be checking them every five minutes. It's like I said, this is the first test, so I have no idea what's going on. So that is something. Something's happened. Okay. So I've forgotten the actual tower. Okay. Let's get rid of that tower quick. Yeah. So that was a bit of a fail. I think. Well, I say it's a fail. A successful test. We got to 10,000 meters, which is what the time block kind of worked to. But I'm just worried now that boost is going to land on something down there and go boom. So we'll just see. Come back down. I was hoping because I did set on the timer blocks some of the um, hydrogen thrusters on the side of the rocket to fire or thrust override to basically move the rocket away from the capsule so I don't know why that, that isn't right maybe I need to do something else I'll come back down now oh I don't even know if I've set shoots um I've got no groups I'm nuts so I say it's a test but I've got some crucial things Alright, I may have to redo some timer blocks here to get it working right. But we're coming in quite hot. I do hope the booster doesn't hit anything major. Because that would not be good. <clears throat> Alright, coming up to parachute at 500 meters. Don't know if it's going to deploy automatically. Don't think it is. And. Or, man or manually, should I say? Oh, straight on the landing pad. Boom, man. That's tough. That's tough. Kind of did what Falcon 9 does, but 
Boom. Let's drop those uh, shoots a minute. <laughs> to be fairly honest, that's a spot on landing. And we landed right next to it. Nicely. Well, there you have it then, folks. That was the, uh, one of the first proper tests of the uh, uh, Mercury Redstone rocket. I just need to tweak a few little things on it. And once I do, I'll, um, I'll probably do another test video just to test it out, make sure it all works fine. I will see. I was going to do a, a mod uh, uh upload with this one, but I obviously haven't worked out all the kinks. So, thank you for watching. If you'd like this rocket video, as uh, short as it may be and, and whatnot, uh, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe on your thoughts. And um, let me know on your thoughts on my next rocket build. I want to build the Mercury Atlas next and keep in line of um, the rocket development. So, obviously, be the Mercury Atlas, then the Gemini, and then the Agena, roughly at the same time, and try and dock them in space. And then I'll probably do the Saturn uh, 1. And then we'll start doing some modern day rockets like the uh, Atlas 4, Delta 5. Well, Atlas 5, Delta 4, should I say. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Uh, thank you for watching. I've been Dr. McKay bringing you a brand new video on my rocket builds. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.